we learn what are the system requirement in controlling for example how to create primary cost element secondary cost element cost center statistical key figures internal order activity type let's look at the system I'll, we need to enter t code k a 0 1 hit enter then you see the screen so we can there is two way you can create from scratch without copying or you can copy values from existing cost element and so to create from scratch hit enter and click this data mass data what do you want to name okay I named it raw materials then cost element category is it primary cost yes then you can you can type it as a primary cost most of primary cost element category is one because those are the primary costs those are the expenses account on our profit and loss statement there is indicators you can record quantity if you want you can check mark if you want to record quantity on that particular cost element then unit of measures you can define any, any unit number measures like inch fit default account assignment if you want have a particular cost center assigned anytime any posting happen to this cost element should post to this cost center also you can assign that here so this is about manual creation of primary cost element now there is an automatic route and most companies they do have this automatic route of creating cost element what is this automatic route to, to do that which copies your primary GL accounts from profit and loss account which is expense or any account you define to be created as a cost element we can define that here and it will automatically create cost element while you are creating your GL accounts let's look at an example how it looks like so the T code for that is OKB2 if you guys have learned about financial accounting that is FI module you would have known that this is while you creating your enterprise structure or GL account that time probably you have configured that now let's look look at that T code you select your chart of account then hit enter here you see account from account to cost even category so different different categories are there so you can mention like from account to account and what cost element category they belong to based on this information in this t code the moment you create a GL account it will be converted as a cost element based on this account for example if you have mentioned here 47.4210 to 47.4250 so any accounts within this range will be created by default a primary cost element and will assign cost element category 1 However, if you create outside of those range, for example, 4742501, which is not assigned any category, so it will not create as a cost element category, since it is not assigned here. So you have to create that account, the manual load we saw just before this slide. I hope you understand how to create cost element, primary cost element. If you remember, we talk about primary cost element and secondary cost element. Now let's have a look at how secondary cost element we can create. How to create a secondary cost element. T code for that, the same one K A, but here 06 instead of 01. So here all those cost elements which is not relevant to financial accounting or any relevant to GEL. Here we create as secondary cost element. To create that, the T code for that is KA06. Same here, you can copy or you can create from scratch. Hit enter. Oh, oh, okay. We'll create one, for example, like this. Let's see, master data. Oh, okay it says that this GL account is exist so that means we cannot create any secondary cost element where 
the primary cost element is exist on the same number so it has to be a different number where the primary cost element is not exit or a GL account has not been created okay so let's see if I can create this ka06 it says 21010 exists secondary cost does not exist okay that means the cost element category has the cost element has been created before so let's see here 999999 if i can create one for this yes here if you see here we can create one of those as a secondary cost element while creating secondary cost element we have to def define these categories like 21 31 41 42 the reason we have sap has mapped in backend by looking at those cost element category we can say what kind of cost element they belong to 21 31 41 21 is internal settlement 31 is order and project result analysis 41 is overhead rates for example if this cost element you are creating is belong to one of these category so we prefer for example if it is overhead so we should mention 41 so by looking at this category we'll understand okay this cost element belong to overhead category it has the same kind of assignment we can assign so this is our secondary cost element which is a manually job and we have to create each time we want something categorized as a secondary cost element now let's have a look at how to create cost centers before creating cost center i understand you guys know how to create a cost center hierarchy okay cost center hierarchy you can create from t code okkp when we are defining cost center uh, for controlling area slash n o k k p I hope I remember the T code, yes. Here you can define, for example, if I take this, okay, when, whenever we are activating, there is an option, okay, cost center hierarchy here. So you can define cost center hierarchy right here. Or if you don't want to define, there is another T code, OKEON. Okay, let me type it out. Okay. E O N. So here also you can define cost standard hierarchy. Cost center standard hierarchy. Now let's look at how to create cost center. The T code for that is KS01. So we go to the SAP screen. K. KS01. Okay. Here I'm trying to create C123456789 as a cost center. There's two options. You can copy it from the existing cost centers, like you can copy the parameters, okay? Or you can create from scratch. Let's create from scratch. Select mass data. What information you need to enter? When you see this check mark, that means you need to enter any of these costs, any of these check mark, I mean, any value you have to enter here. For example, here, let's type it my yield, person responsible, cost center category. In this, also, you can categorize what kind of cost center it has to be. Okay, like production, service, service cost center, logistics, administration, development, management, and so on. So this cost center, for example, I wanted to categorize as a production. This cost center related to the production cost. Hierarchy area, I can select the hierarchy area. Like here, there is a standard hierarchy. Then under standard hierarchy, I have so many hierarchies. Since this is a production, I wanted to categorize in production. Company code, and to select a company code. Then currency, you can select any currency you want okay for example I am selecting USD okay 
Whenever I go to control, okay, it says I should enter the business area, right? I forgot that. So let's enter business area since it's a mandatory fill and profit center. Remember, before creating cost center, you should have a profit center account active, okay? Or you can assign a profit center to this, this area, okay? You can skip that for a moment, but you'll see most of the time a profit center is assigned here. The reason profit center is assigned because they want to track all the cost center will have a profit center. For example, marketing or sales okay so for sales there will be a profit center tracking their revenues and this, there is a cost center tracking their cost how much they spend to get certain revenue or for marketing the similar way how many customers they bought in so there will be a profit center link to here control in control you can have parameters like record quantity commitment update actual revenue plan revenue since this cost center you want primary cost to be posted or you can plan other mass data setup like statistical key figure to set up that we need t code kk01 if you see all these t codes start with k it basically cost center it says cost center k for cost center let's go to kk01 same way i enter slash m kk01 hit enter statistical key figure here i can i can define n number of keys i want or i can copy it from what this will do if i for example i, I enter 50 okay mass data i name that as a F for test okay any statistical key figure we have to define a unit of measure how you want to measure that either hour inch or what it is basically per mile let's say per mile I want to measure that remember we talk about fixed and total values this is how you can figure in system you select either it is fixed if it is fixed the value will remain static throughout the period of one year. If it is total values, you, you can update that every month or every period you want, okay? Hit enter. Link to logistic system. This is how you link to logistic system. You click this link, then you, there is two options, search by infrastructure or search by info set. So all those sets, like, you know, for example, if you want like sales and distribution, purchasing, inventory, software control all those things you can link through escape planning okay so this is how you set up now let's go back and see how we set up internal order for that t code is ko01 same way i come here ko01 i kill that session anytime you set up an internal order it will ask you what kind of order type it is there is various types available development construction marketing third party you know investment you you can create pretty much any type you want or you can create your own category okay as, as we talk internal order is not a it's it's not relevant to a specific area it can be like for example development you don't know if you if you develop a product you don't know what cost center or what category you wanted to uh, include those costs that's reason you create an internal order so that it says that okay those costs on internal order belong to that project not specific specifically to a cost center ultimately you'll post that to a cost center but yes it will be either shared by or you will create a new cost center for that specific internal order that depend on companies to company so let's look at creating internal order so you select 100 hit mass data here you wanted to specify what this order type is like what it's like I'll say okay test development so you want to have a company code so I'll select you can you can select from menu 001 then I'll select the business area for 001 
I can select the plant if yeah if, if it is a plant specific but if it is not a plant specific I can leave it blank an object class that is like what kind of this is this a investment or it's a overhead cost or for what you are creating this internal order I'll say it's a investment a responsible cost center you have to type in a cost center here so you can click and uh, let's see let's type in a cost center and profit center as well I'll take it this one this is just for an example you'll have a different cost center profit center while you are on project or you're doing it okay control data and planning lectures okay so for, for timing you just learn how to create an activity type simple for t code for that is kl01 so let's go to kl01 Here you mention what kind of activity you want to create. You can same way you can copy or you can create a one your, from your from scratch. It since the one I, I wanted to create it says activity type already exists. So that means I can create that activity. Well, let's let let me try that one. Yeah. So in activity type, what we want to input. Okay first name what kind of activity this is so I'll say uh, let's see labor extra for plant one this is activity I'm creating activity unit what kind of activity unit is like for example what you are trying to measure here so let's see is it just somewhere per hour I want to select hour hours cost center categories okay so what kind of cost center you want to post this activity so I wanted to have post so like I'll, I'll have or I can click star so it can be posted to any 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 cost center activity so I'll have like to one activity type category this is relevant for allocation okay so how do you want you want manual entry manual allocation or indirect determination of allocation so whatever way you select it will you can plan in this activity that way for example if you want a manual intro entry so each time you, you can enter this value manually if you select indirect determination or indirect allocation so when we run allocation cycle that time it will update so for example just let's see manual entry here then you can select these check marks quantity set average price etc you must specify cost element category yes yeah so let's select a cost element test cost element price indicator each activity type you create you'll have one call like users or uh, less error or you don't want to make any user to post in this activity if it is not available so you can come here and lock this indicator the same way you can lock your cost element and you can lock your cost center etc your output unit you can and uh, I'm looking forward to see you guys in the next next lecture thank you for attending this master